Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. Now we are in new topic called homogeneous differential equation. Before going to know what is homogeneous differential equation, first we will try to understand what is homogeneous function. You observe here a function f of x comma y is said to be homogeneous function. A function f of x comma y that means consider a function in which two variables x and y is there. It is a function in terms of x and y. You can observe here three examples are there which are functions in x and y. You observe here f of x comma y, y square plus 2xy. It is a function in terms of x and y. You can observe this is a function in terms of x and y. Two variables are there. Here also you can observe two variables are there. So these are the examples for f of x comma y. It is a function in x and y. This function is said to be homogeneous function of degree n. When we calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y, if we'll get the expression of the form lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say that it is a homogeneous function of degree n. Here, what is lambda? Lambda is a constant. And lambda is not equal to zero. That means lambda is a non-zero constant. You please try to understand a function f of x comma y is said to be homogeneous function of degree n if we are able to express f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. Here, three examples are there. We will check these three examples are homogeneous functions or not. In this, I considered two examples which are homogeneous functions. And one example which is not homogeneous function. You observe here. This is a function in terms of x and y. To check whether it is a homogeneous function or not, I'll calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate lambda x comma lambda y? In this, wherever x is there, there you write lambda x. Wherever y is there, there you write lambda y. Okay. Here y is there. In place of y, you write lambda y. Then what you will get? Lambda y. Whole square plus two into x. What is x? In place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. Okay. Little bit of simplification you do. What you will get? This can be written as lambda square into y square. Correct. Plus here you observe lambda into lambda is lambda square. Lambda square into what is remaining? Two into x into y. That is two x y. You can observe in these two terms, I can take lambda square common. Take lambda square common, then what you will get? You will get that y square plus 2xy. Actually, what is y square plus 2xy? Y square plus 2xy is nothing but f of x comma y. So this is lambda square into this y square plus 2xy can be written as f of x comma y. What you identified here? We identified that this f of lambda x comma lambda y we written as lambda square into f of x comma y. We expressed this f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. Here, f of x comma y is a homogeneous function of degree two. I'll conclude. Therefore, f of x comma y is a homogeneous function of degree two. So now. I hope you understand how to check given function is a homogeneous function or not. Now you observe the second example. I am going to check whether it is a homogeneous function or not. How we will check the given function is a homogeneous function or not? Very simple. You just calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? In this function, in place of x you write lambda x. In place of y you write lambda y. So you observe here cos of Y. What is y? In place of y, you write lambda y divided by. In place of x, you write lambda x. You can observe here this lambda lambda will get cancelled. Then what you will get here? You will get it as cos of y by x. You observe is it is in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. You observe this here. I'll write lambda power zero. We know that lambda is a constant and it is a non-zero number. So lambda power zero value is one. One into cos of y by x. One into cos of y by x is nothing but cos of y by x only. So cos of y by x we can write like this. Here lambda power zero into what is cos of y by x? Cos of y by x is f of x comma y. So that means 
we expressed f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. So what is the conclusion? So this given function is a homogeneous function of degree 0. I will conclude the same. f of x comma y is a homogeneous function of degree 0. Now you observe this third example. We need to check whether it is a homogeneous function or not. How we check given function is homogeneous function or not? First, I will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. How to calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y? In this function, in place of x, you write lambda x. In place of y, you write lambda y. Sign of. In place of x, you write lambda x. Plus. In place of y, you write lambda y. Cause of lambda y. Okay. So, if you observe this further, can we take lambda common? Can we write this expression in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y? No, this expression we cannot write in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. That can be understood. You cannot write f of lambda x comma lambda y in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. So what we say? We say that this function is not a homogeneous function. I will conclude the same. Therefore, therefore f of x comma y is not a homogeneous function. Now we will learn what is homogeneous differential equation. A differential equation dy by dx equal to f of x comma y. See, this is the differential equation. dy by dx is given in terms of x and y. For example, you can observe here. What is this? This is the differential equation. This differential equation is said to be homogeneous differential equation of degree n. If f of lambda x comma lambda y is lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say that it is a homogeneous differential equation of degree n. If f of lambda x comma lambda y is expressed in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. To understand this, here we have one example. dy by dx equal to, you observe that this is a function in terms of x and y. This is the differential equation. Now we need to check whether it is a homogeneous differential equation or not. As it is in function in terms of x and y, this is nothing but f of x comma y. Okay. How, when we say this is a homogeneous differential equation, first I will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. If we are able to express this lambda power n into f of x comma y, then we say that it is a homogeneous differential equation. Okay. So what is f of x comma y here? f of x comma y is x plus 2y divided by x minus y. Now I will calculate f of lambda x comma lambda y. That means in place of x I will write lambda x, in place of y I will write lambda y. Write it what you will get? Lambda x plus 2 into in place of y you write lambda y. Whole divided by what is x? In place of x you write lambda x minus in place of y you write lambda y. You can observe here in the numerator we can take lambda common. Then what you will get? You will get x plus 2y divided by in the denominator we can take lambda common. Then what you will get? x minus y. Both will get cancelled. Actually one will be there here. That one can be written as lambda power 0. We know that lambda is a constant and lambda is not equal to 0. So, what is the remaining x plus 2y divided by x minus y? x plus 2y divided by x minus y is what? It is nothing but f of x comma y. So, what you identified here? You identified that f of lambda x comma lambda y is lambda power 0 into f of x comma y. Therefore, in the given differential equation, this f of x comma y is expressed in the form of lambda power n into f of x comma y. Therefore, we say that this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Here, I will conclude. Therefore, dy by dx equal to x plus 2y divided by x minus y is a homogeneous differential equation of degree 0. I hope you understand what is homogeneous function and what is homogeneous differential equation.